Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Hi guys, I'm Kelly from spiritualawakeningsigns.com and I help people like you who are moving through the spiritual awakening process to reduce your symptoms, move through the process a bit more easily and as part of this three day live event that we're doing, um, heal and treat your awakening symptoms too, which is going to be super cool. Um, so thanks so much for joining us. If your awakening is overwhelming, if it's uh, emotional, if it's full of challenging signs and symptoms or if you feel that you're really struggling to cope with the awakening process then this is the live event for you. I have created this event specifically for you. The people who feel broken, the people who feel that they just can't do the awakening process like everyone else. I've been there and this is what it's all about. This is for you. Um, I'm really glad to have you with us for this 3D live event. Um, it's going to be jam-packed with simple step-by-step -step structured guidance on how to treat literally any awakening symptom that you have and that means no matter how weird and wonderful it is, no matter how bad it is, no matter how long you've had it, doesn't matter, even if you've never done healing before, um, by the end of this 3D live event you are going to be able to confidently um, heal and treat your awakening symptoms uh, with the awesome energy healing technique EFT tapping, which is the same one that I use to come through my awakening and to really resolve the crisis that I went through, my dark night of the soul. So um, it will be very exciting and it should help you to move through your awakening so much more easily. I don't know how I would have made it if it wasn't for EFT tapping. Um, if you missed yesterday's class, you can still get it on the timeline. So don't worry if you're tuning in a little bit late, just make sure you get back to that class. It's still available there on the timeline or if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be um, in our list of videos um, and make sure that you get that training because tomorrow we're going to be putting it all together. So in today's class, I'm going to teach you exactly how to identify what your soul is urging you to heal um, in order to move forward in your awakening and make it a lot easier. <laughs> it's a lot easier when you understand what your soul's actually trying to tell you. And by the end of today's class, you'll be able to really understand your symptoms, what they mean, and most importantly, how to interpret the messages that they're trying to give to you. So that's a really important part of this, because if you know that, you have the keys to healing. And then if you know EFT, you can mix it all together and your awakening can become something really beautiful and sacred and special rather than a hot mess, which is what we've all had at some point. So I just want to say a quick hello to everyone who's joined us. Let me have a little look. So Lisa, hi Lisa and Laurie. We've got some people who were here yesterday. Good, you're learning the next part. Hi Rashawn, thanks for joining us. Danielle as well. Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming along. And there's Sarah. Uh, there's loads of us, so this is really good today. Um, we're going to get into some seriously deep stuff. Hi Casey. Um, and it's going to be pretty epic, if I do say so myself, because it's it's really going to give you the tools to move forward, which is extremely exciting. Edward, you were with us yesterday. Retta, just say a quick hello to anyone. If you want to say hello, just pop it in the comments. Um, I really appreciate you guys all being here, and it's a pleasure for me to, to do this kind of work. I, I love it. I don't know if you can tell, but I do love it. Okay, so let's uh, let's get get moving forward. So... If you're having symptoms in your awakening that are making it hard to cope, by that I mean, you know, maybe you're emotional, maybe you're seriously anxious, which I did uh, feel that. If you're exhausted, confused, if you're feeling crazy, the first thing that you need to know right now is that your symptoms are not a curse and they're not random. Because everyone thinks that when they go through awakening, they assume that their symptoms are something that is uh, wildly changing and has no structure to it and that's not the case at all not the case at all what's happening is that your soul is showing you exactly what you need to heal in order for you to actually move forward it's just that we're interpreting it wrong we're not understanding the message your awakening isn't wrong there's nothing wrong with you your awakening isn't out of control it's not abnormal it's just that your soul is desperately trying to show you what it needs you to heal and when you don't do anything about it when you don't do the healing and you don't get the message the signal gets louder it gets a lot louder so you should be able to resonate with what i'm about to share when you don't hear the message your soul practically starts shouting okay so this is where we go and you might resonate with some of this this is where we go from maybe initially it starts off as a, a bout of anxiety 
but it actually becomes stronger and stronger to the point it becomes panic attacks. Okay, so it's actually getting louder and louder and we feel more out of control, but it's the, it's the message, it's the urging from the soul telling you that you have to work on that. Maybe it's um, like a dull kind of blocked feeling in your heart chakra, might start off like that, but it actually becomes this painful physical wound. You know, it feels like a literal broken heart. Or there, there might be some health complications with your heart and there's actually nothing wrong. It's, it's the energy that's starting to move. An unsettled feeling um, could become a full-blown emotional outcry where you're uncontrollably sobbing and you can't get yourself together. If you're at that point in your awakening, if it's that intense and if you resonate with what I've just said, you need healing. Full stop. Okay? These are all signs that you need healing. Once you heal those, they will go away. And that's what I want you to take away from today because I get messages from people every single day telling me that they've got this symptom and that symptom and everything's so bad and it is so bad. But what they don't realise is, is that their soul is trying to give them a message. Their soul is trying to show them what it needs for them to heal. And when they don't start that healing process, it gets louder and louder and louder and we actually become more debilitated on all levels, emotionally, physically, spiritually, energetically, because it's it's shouting as loudly as it possibly can and we're not hearing it, okay? So it's trying to get you to really take notice. So if there's one thing you take away from today, it's start to notice the intense symptoms that you're having and recognise that that means that you need healing now and your soul is ready and it's saying, let's do this. Here it all is, you have that and let's start working with it, okay? Like I said, once you heal them, they go away. Once you heal them, they are gone and they don't come back. And I can say that from my perspective now because I don't have awakening symptoms. I don't have really challenging things happening to me. I don't have the pains that I had before. I still get little flutters of things that come up. That's just part of the awakening process. But it's nothing compared to the hell that I was in before when my symptoms were out of control, overpowering and actually, you know, crumbling my physical life. I could not behave like a human because I, I certainly didn't feel it so it's important that you know that but I want to take it a little step deeper so that you've got a deeper understanding here because your soul alerts you to what needs healed in lots of different ways so this is the symptoms that we're talking about and I want you to listen to these see if you resonate with any any of them and you can recognize that your soul is urging you to heal them okay so just have a little listen to these and see if you resonate with them so Four key ways that your soul alerts you to what needs healed. The first way is through your emotions. And we don't mean uh, fleeting emotions, we mean intense emotions. So things like crying, feeling sad, feeling afraid, feeling triggered, maybe for no reason at all. You don't understand why that intense emotion has come up, it's come out of the blue. Or it's been triggered by something that you feel too sensitive towards, like a movie or the news or a story that somebody told you. That's all that intense emotion coming up. And that intense emotion is a signal. It's showing you, the soul is showing you, I need you to heal this emotion here. I need you to do something about this. So I'm going to really let you feel it, okay? The second way that your soul alerts you to what needs healed is through the physical body. So that's when we get into um, experiencing aches, pains, fatigue. Um, we might have uh, illnesses. We might get ailments. For me, um, not only did I develop a lot of fatigue um, and a lot of complications along the spine, I would get really sore neck, shoulders, back, had a lot of problems there, but I developed eczema on my feet. I had a hormonal condition where I had all these uh, terrible acne underneath my neck that wouldn't go away for a long time. Um, I had stomach complaints. Uh, even at one point, my hair was thinning. Fortunately, it's recovered now. But, um, you know, these things were all changing and it was frightening. It was really, really frightening because you can feel as though your body's falling apart, but it was all just signals from my soul and from the universe to heal these things. They were something from another time that needed to be resolved. Then we've got the other way, which is through the energy body. So a lot of people uh, become concerned when they become aware of energetic sensations that they don't understand. It's just a symptom. And I don't say that to take away from it. I know that it can be frightening if you don't understand it, but it's just another way of your soul alerting you to something that needs to be healed okay so with the energy body we're talking about maybe tingling burning um aching sensations in different chakras or even outside of the field of the body you know just around the aura you might feel something there 
those strange strange sensations are other um are other ways that your soul is trying to alert you to something to be healed really important and then the fourth way that your soul alerts you to what needs to be healed is actually through your feelings now feelings i mean slightly different from emotions so this is where you need to focus about what's on your mind what themes are coming up for you in your life just now what things are you feeling when you get up every day what things are going around in your mind these are issues things like um not wanting to be here feeling completely broken um feeling completely alone being unable to access your gifts or your guides or find your life purpose these are all issues that are asking to be healed so when I say symptoms, sometimes I don't think people realise the expanse of what I mean. I mean anything negative that you experience as you go through the awakening process. Anything that you can feel in your feelings, your emotions, your physical body or your energy body. These are all symptoms and these are all aspects of the soul showing you what it needs you to heal. It's urging you, it's making you aware of it. And it can be loud, it can be really loud sometimes. But if you use the right thing and you get in there and you resolve it and you work with the soul and the energy body, they go away. They, they get resolved and they go away and it's done, okay? Do you recognise any of these signs and symptoms that I'm talking about? Feel free to pop it in the comments if you do. Um, if you do recognise some of these signs and symptoms, that's really good. Because what it means is that you've got an awareness of what's actually going on in your in your system and it's literally going to give you the keys to breaking through that stuck phase of your awakening and actually moving forward so that you can get in at the good stuff. So anything that you've become aware of as we've been talking, even just thoughts and feelings, emotions, things that you've experienced, just keep them in mind because when we get to tomorrow where we're putting all of this stuff together to create really epic self-healing sessions, that's when it's going to be really vital because instead of scrambling around wondering where to start, you're going to know exactly where to start and what your soul wants you to work on first, okay? So it's going to be really exciting. I can see that uh, Laurie's saying she's got way too many of them. I hear you, sister. I've been there. <laughs> I have been there. Um, but I, I'm confident and I can make a promise to you that if you treat them and if you learn the proper application of EFT and you do it properly, which I'm more than happy to guide you, that's what my new course is all about, Joyful Awakenings, or even this this three day course here, you'll get good results and you'll reduce them and things will get better, um, just like it did for me. So I'm with you. So let's take it a little bit deeper and let's talk about what actually are our symptoms. So we know we've got emotions, we've got physical complaints, we've got energetic complaints, we've got um, feelings. These are all our symptoms, but what actually are they when we really break it down? So whether it manifests as an emotion, a feeling, a physical sensation, an energetic issue, your symptoms are actually energy blocks. That's all that they are. They're energy blocks. Your body and soul are working together to show you exactly where in your system the blockage actually is. So the painful wound that you might have in your heart chakra, that's actually a blockage in the heart. It's as simple as it gets. Emotional sobbing that maybe it tightens up your chest when you're crying is a block in the lungs. You know, mental fogginess, for example, a lot of people get kind of mental fogginess, cloudiness, unable to think clearly. It's a blockage in the head or the third eye. That's just, you know, it doesn't get complicated. The body's not making it some incredible map that you can't work out. It's as simple as wherever you feel whatever's going on in your body is where that energy blockage actually is. And you need to remember that there are energy pathways all over our bodies in all different directions. So you could have an energy block anywhere. If you feel something in the shoulder, the energy blocks in your shoulder. If you feel an emotion tightening up in your stomach, the energy blocks in your stomach. Um, it's as simple as that, but it's not vital for you to be able to articulate where that block is for EFT to be able to dissolve that block. That's important for you to know. I'm just giving you that deeper understanding of exactly what it is so that you know what you're doing. So it's really incredibly simple for you to actually decipher these messages when you know how. Um, but even if you don't understand them, your soul's giving you all the details. All you need to do is notice what's coming up. Notice how you feel every single day and tap on them to clear them. 
it doesn't get any more complicated than that. It's just that your soul is trying to give you all this information and this awareness of what's going on in your body and you need to pick up the other half of that. You need to be the one that's going to step forward and say, okay, you show me what to heal and I'll heal it. I'll do the work to heal it on the other end because your soul is working incredibly hard right now. It's no wonder that we've all been exhausted on this journey. Your soul is working so hard to get you through all that 3D sludge into the 5D reality. And if you want to get there, you need to dissolve the blocks that are in the way. You need to dissolve the stuff that's stopping your energy and your system from moving forward if you want to get there. So if we've got all these blocks, and we know kind of where they are, not that it's important for you to be able to heal them, but you know where they are. So if we've got <clears throat> emotion coming up and we feel it in a certain part of the body, that's where the block exists. That's all it is. But you need to remember that as a natural part of awakening, our souls are extremely open. More open than anyone else on the planet. It's a different level of openness. We're not the average person who deals with a few traumas in their life and heals it and that's kind of it. They're only dealing with this lifetime. When we are awakened, our souls are actually dealing with a whole other level because we are recalling traumas from all lifetimes, every lifetime you've ever lived. That's a pretty big undertaking <laughs> when you really think about what your soul's working on. It's no wonder we're exhausted. Um, awakening is essentially a harvest of the living experience of all the lifetimes that you've ever lived. It's a harvest of, you know, pulling all the good things out and leaving all the bad. And you need to do that because each of these powerful life experiences that you've had, even though you don't consciously remember them all, they've been painful, but they gave us incredible learning and wisdom. Okay, every single lifetime we had, we learned something, we went for a reason and we had those experiences for a purpose to move our soul forward. And the challenge you've got is that until you release the block of all the negative emotion and the trauma that was created in that moment, you can't claim the wisdom, okay? You have to be able to resolve that in order to get the good stuff. So the blocks that you're experiencing are actually pain and trauma from another lifetime. Um, that's all that it is. It's just pain and trauma from another time. But you also need to remember that all of those old traumas hold a really powerful energetic resonance and they sit in your energy field. So, you know, you've got this, this aura that comes out right around you. They sit in your energy field, all that trauma, all that negative energy, and they are radiated out of you as your point of attraction. So we talk about the law of attraction and we, we talk about drawing things into your field, the good things that you want to have in your life. But if you have all that trauma and negative patterns and negative themes in your life like never finding love or constantly being betrayed or never being able to actually find stability in your life that's actually old trauma and pain from other times it might have happened in this lifetime as well but it's all old it's old stuff and if it's left in your field unresolved uncleared unhealed it kind of imprints upon who you are and it draws more of those experiences back into your life, like a tractor beam, okay? So that negative stuff that's sitting in your field that you might not even know about is probably the cause of the patterns that you keep experiencing in your life. Maybe you're constantly lonely, maybe you can never find a partner, maybe you never have any money. Whatever that program is that keeps playing over and over and you're so sick of it, it's because it's in your field somewhere and it needs to be resolved. It's a bit like how... It's a bit like a computer program that plays the same program over and over and over again in an attempt to fix it, in an attempt to resolve the situation. So even though it happened in a past life and there's all that old trauma, it's replaying now, hoping that this time around you'll get it right, that this time around you'll change the energy, you'll dissolve the energy, you'll heal it and you'll move forward. So if you want to change your life, you need to start healing. You need to change the things that are in your field and it's not necessary for you to understand any of the stuff I'm talking about here to be able to get those results. All you need to do is focus on your symptoms and tap to clear it. That's literally as simple as it is. That's all you have to do. So to give you an understanding of how that little flow chart works, it starts off with a negative past life experience, a pain or a trauma, something negative which leads to negative emotion that you felt in that moment in that past life 
which creates blocked energy somewhere in your system. Yeah, so you get things like um, people that have a lot of throat issues might have been hung or people who have skin issues might have been burned at the stake. A lot of these things have happened to us. Or, you know, people who have a lot of lung and chest complaints might have had a broken heart. It's all related and it's all connected and that's where the blocks sit. And that blocked energy is what keeps you stuck in your awakening because no matter how much you wish for things to change and no matter how many positive affirmations you say, your energy is still sending out that negativity that's in your field from lifetime after lifetime after lifetime and it's going to keep attracting the same patterns. What you need to do is you need to be able to work on your symptoms and work on the things that are coming up. You might not even be aware that it has anything to do with a past life. You might just start working on something from this life or you might start working on anxiety or you might start working on a headache and before you know it, it's actually dissolving it. Um, and that's that's the power of EFT, that double whammy of being able to treat this lifetime and past lifetimes at the same time. It's just another level. And that's why healing is so vital when you're going through awakening because your soul is already trying to undo and release all of those programs and emotions and, and traumas and if you want rid of those negative energies if you want to step into that 5d reality with all the good vibes and the alignment you need to clear everything within yourself that's out of alignment with that you need to clear all the negativity that goes against all the good stuff you need to clear and heal all the trauma so that you beam out this high vibrational white light, that unconditional love, so that you can be your authentic divine self, you can be who you really are. If you want to get back to that truth, you can't do it with all the, the dirt and the muck and the debris of all those other lifetimes on the top. It just doesn't work. You have to clear yourself to be that clear channel and be that white light vibration that you actually are under all the layers of all that old pain and trauma. You've got to get back to that. So if you want to do that, we do it with EFT and incredibly easy. Um, EFT is capable of clearing, like I said, both the physical and the energetic. So it will heal and clear your physical body. So it's you can use it for any physical issue that you have, aches, pains, illnesses, ailments, any physical complication whatsoever. But it's also going to work on the soul at the same time. So while we think we are healing a symptom that's bothering us in this time, it's, you know, like me with the eczema on my feet. I think that's something I'm working on now. It's simultaneously healing the issue in any past life too, which is probably where it originated, which is why it's coming up in your awakening now. Um, and it's clearing it on a soul level. So whether that's whether you're aware of it or not. So you you might be working like I did, tapping away on all this, uh, this problem with the eczema on my feet, not realising that it has anything to do with a past life, maybe not even remembering anything as you're tapping, that it has anything to do with a past life whatsoever, but it's clearing it and it's clearing it where it originated, which is so important. That's the real sweet spot for you being able to move forward in a big way in your awakening. It's the key to getting out the other side, to align with your purpose, to fulfill yourself to the depths of your soul, you know, to really be your authentic self. You need to heal both and EFT is the best way to do that because it's going to half the work for you. And I can tell you firsthand, as much as I love other healing methods, they don't have the same capability of doing that and being safe and grounding you at the same time. So that's why I would always recommend it. So I want you to start thinking about some of the symptoms that you have, because that is exactly where you're going to start. Um, you can treat any symptom whatsoever with EFT tapping. In fact, what I would, I would say to you now is, tell me a symptom that you have, in the comments box even if you've got loads of them it's fine but just throw one out to me and um, if you're wondering if it can be worked on and I'll discuss it with you um, from the comments so throw them out at me now and we'll have a little talk about them what symptom do you have it could be an emotion it could be a feeling like not wanting to be here not feeling at home um, feeling broken-hearted feeling that your soul is broken it could be anything throw them at me and I'll have a little talk with you so Danielle saying she gets itching all over the body Ooh, that's a past life issue. I can feel that. There's itching there. There's an old skin complaint that's coming up. So you say that it's itching. So with EFT, you say, even though I have this itching all over my body, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all this itching all over my body, I love and accept myself anyway. 
Even though I have all this itching all over my body, I love and accept myself anyway. All this itching. All this itching. All this itching. All this itching. See how easy it is? All this itching. You start with what you've got. All this itching. All this itching. You take a big deep breath and you notice, do I still feel itching or do I notice something else? An emotion, a feeling, a memory, what's coming up? Anything at all. You notice what comes up, you start again. Even though I've got whatever filled its place and you start all over again and it's that process of keeping going and undoing all the layers that will help you get to the bottom so that you don't have that problem anymore it will literally resolve it okay so that's one example so let's see so daniel had itching so retta saying headache for four days i'm just tuning into that as you say you've got a lot of head issues going on just now and i think there's a past life issue where there's a lot of tension all around the head there's something to do with having a band around the head not necessary for us to dig into it or wonder what it is. You just start with, even though I have this headache, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this headache, I love and accept myself anyway. Three times. Even though I have this headache, I love and accept myself anyway. This headache. This headache. This headache. It doesn't get any more complicated. You guys don't realise how simple yet powerful this method is. You're literally telling me what your symptoms are and you can literally get started straight away. Lisa says she's got sciatica. That to me actually feels like more of a an issue to do with support. I don't know if you've got issues around uh, support in life. Could be a past life issue. But you're going to do the same thing. Focus on how it feels. Um, rather than just saying, even though I've got this sciatica, I would focus on what does it feel like. So even though I have this burning in my back or even though I feel this twisted energy or whatever it is, you just say it three times. Burning in my back burning in my back, burning in my back. You just use the words that you need to use to express what it is. Laurie's got an autoimmune disorder. You're not alone there. I had chronic fatigue syndrome for three years and I was in a wheelchair, completely unable to walk. So I, I feel your pain and I know how hard it is. But know that what you can do with that is you can use all the symptoms that come up as a part of that autoimmune disorder to actually move forward. And that was how I healed myself of chronic fatigue. So it's, it's easily done. You just need to work at it, you know, often, every single day. So start looking at the, the symptoms you get amongst that autoimmune disorder and just pick one that's annoying you one day or one that's really intense and start with that. It's important to break these things down. So be as specific as you can when you start working with tapping because if you use something broad, like, for example, even though I've got an autoimmune disorder or even though my awakening is so bad, your your energy can't work with that because there's too many blocks in the way you have to be really specific to say this is the thing i want you to narrow in on and really start to reduce down and, and clear the block for me so have a go at that beatrice says she's got stomach acid well i did actually pick up yesterday there was a lot of stomach issues going on for a lot of us so that's what you start with how does it feel does it feel like burning does it feel hot you just start with it even though i've got all this burning in my stomach all this acid i love and accept myself anyway even though I've got all this burning stomach acid, love and accept myself anyway. Burn stomach acid, burn stomach acid. It, it's not complicated. You just start. Rajni has hair loss. I feel you. I had the same thing. Same thing. You just start with what have you got? Or how does it make you feel? You can even go with that. How does the hair loss make you feel? Because probably the feeling there is connected to something. So let's say it makes you feel um, depleted, even though I feel depleted. Or if it makes you feel despair or depressed, even though I feel depressed because of this hair loss, I love and accept myself anyway. And you would start like that. Danielle also says confusion and decision. Yep. Great. You just go straight to work. Even though I'm so confused, I'm so indecisive, I don't know where to go or what to do. I love and accept myself anyway. And you give yourself a minute to tap through those points and notice what comes up and your soul will give you the next thing. That's the great thing about using EFT. It will always give you the next part of the puzzle, it'll say, you work on this top little bit here and when we dissolve that, that's actually what's under here. And that's when you start to notice, oh, something else is coming up, now I feel emotional, or now I've got a headache, or now I've got aches and pains in my shoulders or fluttering in my heart. It's always gonna give you the next thing and you wanna tap on that. You just wanna change the words to, okay, now it's not a migraine anymore, it's fluttering in my heart. So even though I've got this fluttering in my heart, I love and accept myself anyway, three times. Fluttering in my heart, fluttering in my heart, fluttering in my heart. And you work through it and you do it again. 
take a deep breath and you notice what's coming up now. So then you've worked on the top one, then you've worked on the fluttering in your heart, and then there might be some sadness under there, something else comes up. You're just being super aware of what comes up and literally, the more you do that, the more the EFT will just dissolve block after block after block after block until it just disperses and you can't find anything else in your body at the end of the session, whether it's 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and you've really done a good healing on yourself if you do that. This is why people say EFT didn't work for them because people think they can do it for five minutes and their problems are going to be fixed. You have to work with it. You have to let your soul give you the next piece and the next piece and the next piece until there's no pieces left. That's how you do a really good therapist level healing. And that's always what I would do with people. Bernard says high blood pressure. So what you can do with that, specifically if it's something that you can't physically feel, I don't know if you have any physical sensations with that. If you do, you can use what you can physically feel to start off with your tapping. If you can't, what you can also do with tapping that's really useful is simply tune into it. Just focus on it for a second and imagine what it would look like or what it would feel like and you can just work from there. So we're really visual as we're going through awakening. So if you tuned into that and you just got an impression, let's just say when I'm tuning in, I get an impression of a, like a red colour in the veins, you know, all firing through the veins. That's what you can start with. Even though I have all this redness in my veins, all this red energy, I love and accept myself anyway. You can make it up as long as you know what you're connecting to, even if it was something that you had to imagine to visualise, your energy knows what it's working on and it starts dissolving the block. So that's why it's so creative and so expansive. You don't need to know, you don't need to have any medical background. You don't really have to know the ins and outs of anything. You just focus on it. How does it make you feel? What image comes to mind? You know, anything that comes to you and you work with it. Doreen says restless legs, that's common. Uh, yes, these are all things you can work on. Absolutely everything, even though I have these restless legs. You start with that. Jasmine, asthma. Yes, uh, asthma. Uh, ooh, yeah, you've got a past life thing. I'm just tuning into that. There was smoke in the lungs. And this is an old thing. Um, not that it's necessary for you to know that to work. I feel like you should put that in there. Even though I've got asthma and all this smoke in my lungs, I love and accept myself anyway. I think the universe has just given you a little hand to get in nice and deep there. Um, work on something like that. And if you forget, just work on even though I've got this asthma. And likely you'll find that things start to come up. But that's a past life issue. And if you can really nail it right down to the bottom, and it might take you a few sessions, I actually think you'll get it. Sarah, burning in right eye socket, past life issues, too specific. So you want to get in there, even though you have been so specific with your words, that's perfect. Even though I have this burning in my right eye socket, I love and accept myself anyway. Three times. This burning in my right eye socket. This burning in my right eye socket. You will be off to an excellent start. Super specific. Top mark, Sarah. Uh, Marta. She says, met my newborn self recently floating in midair, red face, screaming bloody murder. Perfect. Okay. We do get weird things like this. You get weird visions. You get weird experiences. But what you can do is you can start to really tap into them in a way that, that really promotes healing. So you just start off with, even though I see my newborn self screaming bloody murder, I love and accept myself anyway. So even though the words sound strange, you'll still be releasing. And you might actually find, to be honest, that Joyful Awakenings would be a really good course for you because we work on how to treat aspects of the self like that. So that's, that's what we would call an echo. It's a part of yourself that has split off and it could be traumatised from a past life. It could be from a parallel life. It could be from another dimension. We don't know when we're working during awakening. But it gives you a way to actually um, dissolve the trauma for that aspect and, and draw them back into your field. Um, and actually, I've got something coming up at the end. Uh, I've done a video on how to treat a past life, uh, how to resolve a past life memory with EFT tapping that you might be interested to watch. But I'll talk about that at the end and you can get a look at it and see how it feels. Oh, everyone's giving me a nice thanks. You're so welcome. Bernard says, headache and sore eyes sometimes. These are all past life issues. Nobody has said anything on here that cannot be worked on. Okay, if it exists during awakening, it's urging you to heal and clear it. So you have to trust that no matter what it is, even if it's a physical thing, like we had an autoimmune disease, doesn't matter. Even if it's something that has a medical 
a truth to it. You know, you've maybe been to the doctor and they say, yep, you're, you've got slip discs or something's happening. It doesn't matter. You just get to work on it. Um, and in any case, EFT will always help regardless of what it is. So please know that anything that you put up there, there is nothing that can't be worked on. Nothing. It's all energy and it can all be healed and treated. But you have to be willing to do the work. Okay, EFT will do the heavy lifting, but you have to be willing to sit down and make time for yourself and take half an hour to do a healing that's going to change your life. You know, it sounds simple, but you need to have that drive behind you that says, I'm going to take control of this and I'm going to heal it for my soul and for my ascension so that I can start moving forward. Got to be ready to do that. Okay. Right, let's see. <clears throat> ah, where are we? Where are we? Okay, I'm just checking that we haven't missed anything out. Right, how to identify what to heal with EFT. So from what you've said, I hope that you're getting an understanding that no matter what symptom you have, you can start healing it with EFT tapping. Um, there's nothing that comes up that can't be treated during awakening. It's all soul level stuff and there is nothing that exists in your energy or in your soul that cannot be changed, healed and resolved. Nothing, okay? So in any sense, you won't do any harm in trying EFT on everything. That's what they say, try it on everything. So identifying what to heal with EFT, we've got a good idea from some of the things that people have put in the comments already. But the best way for you to identify what to heal is to take note of how you're feeling in any sense. On any given day, how are you feeling? So look for something uncomfortable, something that bothers or unsettles you and you'll know what to work on, okay, anything. So you can simply ask yourself, how am I feeling today? Ask yourself that question now, how are you feeling today? What are you aware of today? And look within yourself, so it might be depression, it might be anxiety, it might be a strange energetic sensation, it might be fatigue, it might be mental fogginess. No matter what it is, that's what you need to work on and your soul will show you the right thing every day, every week, whatever's coming up, it'll show you the right thing to work on. You never need to question whether you should work on it or not. If it exists right now and it's being shown to you, you need to work on it and you need to heal it. So all you need to do is note down how you feel, take note of how you feel and begin tapping on that. And EFT will do the work for you. Like I said, as long as you're willing to sit down and take a little bit of time to do that healing, EFT will actually do all the hard work, all the hard work for you. You just have to notice what comes up and change your tapping statement every time that something changes a little bit differently and keep on tapping until there's nothing left. That's all you have to do, okay? You can't get it wrong, so I don't want you to fret wondering, is this an awakening symptom or is it not? It's all relevant, like I said, no matter what comes up during awakening, it's all relevant. Um, and also I don't want you to fret about being the best tapper in the world, okay? Because... You know, there are times when our tapping is not perfect. There is times, even for me, when I miss out tapping points or when I'm working on myself and I skip from this one to that one and say, oops, missed one. It doesn't matter. As long as you focus on healing and you do the best that you can, you'll get good results. As long as you do it, you'll get good results, even if it's if it's not perfect. Um, and in the video I'm about to discuss uh, that's available for you to watch with a past life healing session, which is epic, you should definitely not miss it. It's really powerful. Um, you'll see that we didn't apply the technique perfectly into the letter but we still got a phenomenal result so I want you to know that even if you're a newbie even if you've never tried it even if you're not perfect you can still get really good results no matter what you're working on so the main thing is just do it just get to work with it and do it so as an example of working out what to, to work on if you let's say you tomorrow you wake up and you have anxiety what do you think you would do? Even though I have all this anxiety, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all this anxiety, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all this anxiety, I love and accept myself anyway. All this anxiety, all this anxiety. And you start tapping through those points, all this anxiety, all this anxiety. And you work through every single point, all this anxiety. Till you get to the bottom you might even do a little repeat so if ever you're feeling really anxious when you get down to the wrist if you still feel feel anxious or you still have the feeling that you were tapping on just go right back to the top 
and do another little round, all this anxiety, focus on the feeling. And then what you're going to do is when you finally get to the bottom again, you're going to take a nice deep breath, all this anxiety. You would be saying that on every point, obviously I'm speaking, but saying it on every point. And when you get down to the bottom, you would take a big deep breath. And you would take a second to tune back into your system and notice, do I still feel anxious? Or is there something else coming up in its place? Okay, what's coming up now? Do I start to feel emotional? Am I starting to feel tension in my stomach? Am I starting to feel tightness in my heart? Am I starting to get an image of something? Am I remembering something? And you work with it from there and it's that process of continually changing the words and keeping on moving through so the EFT is dissolving the block, 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 block until it's gone. But you have to keep tapping, otherwise EFT can't do the work. Unless you're physically doing the tapping, EFT cannot help you. So you have to keep going while your soul's throwing all that stuff up and starting to release. You need to keep going until it's fully released to give it the chance to have the proper full healing. If you stop halfway, you're stopping the healing process and you're cutting yourself short from an amazing healing. So don't do that, just keep it going. So another example would be if you wake up with uh, an overwhelming feeling that you don't want to be here even though I don't want to be here I love and accept myself anyway three times don't want to be here I don't want to be here don't want to be here that one will probably bring up some emotion don't want to be here simple as it is um, if you wake up with exhaustion even though I have all this exhaustion depression even though I have all this depression whatever's going on for you in any given day at any given time you just adjust the words and you get tapping don't wait don't wait until you're two weeks down the line and it's built up and up and up to this mass of crisis and emotion and upset that's going to make you topple and make you go back down to the darkness. If you can use EFT every time these little things come up, maybe even a little bit every day, just to notice how things are coming up and how you feel, which is how I managed to, remember I was talking yesterday about just surviving through my awakening. If you can do that, you'll find that these things don't crescendo into a big massive eruption of something that you can't handle you just chip away at it a little bit every day and that's what smooths the awakening process out that's what starts to give it a steadiness and a calmness where you can handle things as they come up because they're just little when you leave them they explode into this really big mass of something that you can't handle and it's so overpowering and so emotional that your system just shuts down so use it use it every day use it whenever something comes up Heal yourself and you'll start to notice a few weeks and months down the line that you're actually moving forward and you'll be amazed and you'll develop this sense of confidence that's like, I've got this, this is actually going to be okay, which is a completely new paradigm if you've been going through awakening for a while. So don't sell yourself short, use the technique and use it every day and make sure that you don't hit that epic moment of, of disaster and emotion and breakdown and crisis like I did. Just just chip away at it every day and it'll be nice and easy because EFT is going to unravel the layers for you right that's why it's the best thing to use it's going to show you the next thing and the next thing and the next thing until you clear the root and that's what creates permanent healing yeah you don't have to do any of the guesswork you don't have to work out what the past life is you don't have to dig into anything about it you don't even have to go looking through this current lifetime for things to heal you just start with tapping on something that's bothering you and you notice what comes up next and you clear that one and then you notice what comes up next and you clear that one and you notice what comes up next and you clear that one until you notice that there's nothing else coming up next. And it might take you 20 minutes, it might take you 45, but to me, for permanent healing on the soul level, past lives and current, it's worth 45 minutes. Oh boy, is it worth 45 minutes particularly when you have instant relief and you notice that the symptom is gone or at least reduced afterwards. Uh, that's an amazing feeling, so it's worth it. But either way, you know, whatever way you decide to do it, as long as you're doing it, your soul is healing. And it's not always important for you to remember the details. Um, it's not important for you to remember the past lives and you might not as you're working. You might, but you might not and that's okay. But if you want to change your reality and you want to move into a 5D reality of things being better and life being easier and your awakening being more balanced, then it's important for you to heal and clear it. 
Um, and it's really about you stepping forward and taking the other half of this thing that your soul's doing so that the symptoms aren't, aren't getting so loud that you can't handle them. You need to work with it. It's a partnership. So, like I said before, if you want to see what a past life healing session actually looks like, it's super cool. We're doing it with EFT and it's a session that I did recently. So I'm offering free access as part of Joyful Awakenings, which teaches you how to use EFT, not only to heal and treat your symptoms, but to heal and treat past lives and parallel lives and connect with your guides and all this cool stuff. Um, it's uh, available for the next few days. You can get access to that. And it might be good for you to get a look at that and to see the power of what EFT can do um, and to give you some guidance about when you're working on your own as well. It should improve your practice. Um, it was a pretty epic session and it was really emotional. So I'm sure you'll relate to some of it. Um, I will pin access to that in the comments. So it's on the course page. You're going to scroll down and look for the class curriculum and you'll see there's two lessons available for you to um, have a look at. And one of them's called Inner Tapping Past Life. Just hit preview and you'll be able to watch it uh, straight away. So um, hopefully you know what symptoms you'd like to address. Let me know in the comments what ones you're going to be working on tomorrow when we put it all together. And then please join us tomorrow. This is the last piece of the puzzle if you really want to gain control of this awakening process. Um, it's going to be the last in the series and I'll be teaching you how to put all of these techniques together for literally epic therapist level results. It's the same type of results that I get in sessions with my clients and you are more than capable of that and your soul is sure ready. So um, let's get working on that and I will see you then. Thanks guys. Bye.